Ask anyone and they'll all tell you the exact same thing. Minecraft is extremely hard. Minecraft is so difficult, in fact, that it is the world's second hardest game ever made, only beaten in difficulty by Nintendogs from the Nintendo DS. And that game is so hard, it gave me nightmares. Your first night in Minecraft is a perfect example of this difficulty. With no resources, no shelter, no goth Minecraft girlfriends, not even food, your first night provides a huge challenge. And that is why today I will show you all how to survive your very first night in Minecraft. First things first, you're gonna want a shelter. Just think about it, you can't have a Minecraft girlfriend without a home for the two of you to share. You know, I hear a lot of people say that making a good looking shelter is impossible on your first night. However, that is just flat out wrong. Here's the shelter I was able to make in only 10 minutes on my first night. I call it the beauty lost in the beholder's eye. To make this home, you're going to want to craft one door and dig up seven pieces of dirt. I know I said it only takes 10 minutes to make, but that's if you're an expert like me. If you're a noob, you should expect this build to take days, weeks even maybe. Once you've built it, take a screenshot and post it to r slash minecraft builds for some instant karma. To spice it up, you can replace the top dirt block with a crafting table to provide quick access to all your crafting needs. And voila, now it's perfect. Once you have some real estate to your name, you're gonna need some food to keep yourself going. The best source of sustainable food would be a wheat farm or a cow farm, right? Well wrong! If you think that, then you are a beta male soy boy loser! Good luck getting that Minecraft girlfriend with such a wimpy food source. Real men eat pufferfish breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why? Reason one, pufferfish are high in protein, and that means you have lots of muscle. Number two, pufferfish exude big dick energy. I mean, think about it. If a man is brave enough to risk his entire life just to eat a pufferfish, he is a chad. And reason three, pufferfish are yellow, and yellow is a badass color. And so, whenever you're hungry, head to the closest warm ocean to beat some pufferfish to death with your bare hands. In no time, you'll become the handsome Squidward you've always wanted to be. So now you have food and a shelter. Arguably, you could live comfortably without a worry. Until the night arrives and you get your teeth curb stomped out by a baby zombie riding a chicken wearing fully enchanted diamond armor. To defend yourself, you're gonna need some armor and weapons, buddy. And to get those, you're gonna need resources like iron and diamonds. If you have no life, you could spend hours mining tunnels like a mindless drone whose sole purpose is to seek satisfaction through digital minerals. Or, you could get near infinite items in seconds with this one simple trick I learned through my years of playing Minecraft. First, you must press the T key. Now here's the hard part, play close attention. You're gonna have to type this in exactly as I do. Do slash game mode creative. Once done, carefully press enter. If done right, you should notice that your hearts have now disappeared. Finally, press E and go to the lava bucket. You can just take all the gold, diamonds, and netherite you want, and it will never affect you. And there you have it! You just saved yourself hours of busy work disguised as gaming. You're welcome. After all that we've done in this video, there's still one crucial thing you need in order to survive in Minecraft. We have food, shelter, and protection, what more could we want, I hear you asking. Well that, my friend, is a foolish question. The last thing we need to not only survive, but to thrive in Minecraft, is of course, a goth gamer Minecraft girlfriend. There are several ways to do this, but my favorite is to just ask some random people on some random ass Discord server if any of them want to be your Minecraft girlfriend. Fair warning, if you do this method you couldn't end up with a femboy. But depending on how you look at it, that may be an upside. Having said all of that, these are only the bare essentials to surviving your first night. If you want more tips on Minecraft, like how to make mob farms or how to beat the Ender Dragon, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If enough people like it, I'll make a part two. I know, I know. I am so generous sharing my wealth of knowledge with you lowly peasants barely worthy of shining my boots. Also, please sub, because I like having a big number of subs. It makes me feel happy. Bye.